So I've developed an output window for play analysis or team action analysis. And it basically is able, allows you to break down your sets per shot efficiency, points per play, things like that. And it really lets you break down how successful some sets are compared to others. So this is the output window here. Now all this information is in my primary output window. However, it's a couple of toggle buttons away and it might be you know, a little bit confusing for some coaches to get to. But I'll leave a link in the description below for my primary output window for you to check that out. But this has basically broken this exact section away just so it's isolated and easier to understand. So I'm just going to talk you through how it works. Obviously you've got your um, timeline below coded using the code window and also there will be a link in the description below for that code window. And you insert your team here. So I've just put a higher state and you know the read of a higher state um, in this code button here. And then I've got these play series below. Now you can call these play series whatever you want. I've just put basically three placeholders. I've got like an out of bounds series, a transition series, a half court series. But these could be whatever you want. These could be early offense. This could be, you know, if you've got a certain sort of like team action set series, you could put that here. Whatever you want. You can name these series anything you can. And that's, I've got basically these series because this chart only holds 12 plays. However, by adding the three series, we're timesing that by three, and I'll show you what that means soon. But we've basically got 36 play slots available. So you've got named your three series, you've named your team, what do you do now? Well, if you double click onto any one of these plays and go into the scripting, you'll see that you've got this command here saying insert plays. And that's basically instructing you to put your plays here. So series one, insert your play, series two, insert your play, series three, insert your plays. And those match up with these play series here. So your out of bounds series, you'd put your out of bounds play here. Your transition series here, you'd put your transition play here. Your half court series here, you'd put your half court play here. Does that make sense? Hopefully that makes sense. And you do that with each one of these slots. So your out of bounds series is always going to be in play one. Your you know heart transition series is always going to be in series two, and then your um, half court series is always going to be in this insert play three. And basically what that's going to look like, if I just put an example here, is it going to look like this. So that means when you go into report mode, you can really analyze your plays. So if I go out of bounds series, it's already just defaulted to series one. So you've got all your insert play ones here, transition, insert play two, and then my horns here that I had there, and then half court. So basically you've got 36 plays by just toggling through these different series. Now if I just show you what sort of data we have by clicking this out of bounds series, we've got pick and roll, you've got the shot efficiency, so one of six for 16.7%, and you've got a color that matches that efficiency. You've got points per play, so 0 0.33 points per play. The frequency that you ran that play relative to all other plays, so you can kind of see if you rely on one play or don't run one play enough and then the percentage of points from that play, from your total score, and then the number of turnovers committed from that play. And again, everything here has video capability, so I wanna watch the video of these six plays, I can do that, and it'll show up on my screen. Now, I also have the functionality to, say, click pick and roll and fulfill this chart up here. So if I go pick and roll, and it'll show me, uh, show me where all my pick and roll shots were. Better, all these sort of um, buttons up here have video capability as well. So I want to see all my pick and roll from the uh, right wing, or that resulted in a shot from the right wing. I just have to click that and I get an ugly photo of uh, Brad Underwood followed by that play, um, you know, showing that pick and roll ending in that right wing shot. And then same if I clicked, you know, transition, it would give me the play chart for horns actions on the court. I haven't coded for any, so it doesn't show up. Same if like, you know, I ran any sloppy plays, it would show up on the court because I've got that selected with that series. So that's the play analysis slash team action output window. If you have any questions about this output window, my email is in the description below, along with the um, link to my website where you can purchase this along with the rest of my code window pack. Thank you very much and appreciate you watching.